Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today, we're checking out Little Darlin from The Diamonds. Released in 1957, I'm assuming, because that's what it says up there. So let's go ahead and take a little spin right here on Little Darlin The Diamonds. Actually, I don't know which one's which. Which one's the artist name and which one's the song name, but we'll learn as we go. We're going to pay attention and we're going to find out. Um, so let's go ahead, hit play. It's only two minutes, 30 seconds, not very long song. Um, and once again, we could assume it's from the 50. So that's really cool to already have that in mind. You would have that in mind anyway, with the diner right here with the old classic cars, really cool stuff, man. So let's hit play. Let's spin this one out. Don't forget to like subscribe, check out the description. If you guys enjoy rocking with the channel, man, appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Here we go. sound the sound from the 50s man i love returning to it i love returning to it so wholesome so good spirited feeling man um gosh it kind of gives me a little butterflies like uh i don't know a little shaky on the inside a little sadness but like happy sad i guess like dang this time actually existed you know what i mean we're so far away from it today but this time actually existed um and it's a small breakaway a blissful breakaway where i could actually ignore everything in the world when you hear this sound you can ignore everything in the world you can ignore every bad emotion bad feeling negative cloud that you feel and it's just a moment of pure blissful amazingness man i like it i like it uh it makes me a little emotional thinking about it but it's true the sound it's so classic it's so pure it's so fun now i don't know why some of this gave me a little bit of a Hawaiian feel. The, the maybe because that style of singing, I feel like it's, you know, there there is some uh way where if that's not pulled from a culture over like in like a Pacific Islander type of culture, it's definitely ingrained there as well. That style of using your voice, the what what you know that kind of thing going on there. It, it it's reminiscent of that culture. I lived in Hawaii for three years. Uh, when I was stationed out there with my family um, and it just made me think about it. So let's go ahead and dive in, learn a little bit more about little darling, the diamonds. Obviously I think it's amazing. I, I can't hide these pure emotions that I feel sometimes. And um, you can really, you can really tell when something's hitting and this hit this, this hit really good in a very good way. Um, it was like a little light bulb inside me for a little bit, you know, just going on dope stuff, man. Beautiful. All right, so we've got Little Darlin' is a song by The Diamonds. Okay, this came from their album, America's Favorite Song Stylist. Um, this was released in 1957, considered rock and roll and doo-wop. Okay, songwriter on this is Maurice 
Williams, Maurice. We have we have heard Maurice, right? Maurice Williams and the Zodiacs were an American. Well, I don't re- recognize that group, uh, but I believe Maurice Williams. We have heard of other songs that were written by Mr. Maurice. Um, and then you got this one covered later on by Elvis Presley, released 1977, 20 years later. 20 years later, you get an Elvis Presley version. That's pretty cool, man. So Little Darlings is a popular top 40 song made famous by the Diamonds. It was written by a 16-year-old Maurice Williams with both melody and doo-wop accompaniment, strongly emphasizing a calypso rhythm. First recorded in January 1957 by Williams group, the Gladiolas. Uh, it was quickly released as a single on the Excello uh, Records, a small swamp blues label owned by Nashville record man Ernie Young, who was responsible for creating the song's Latin feel, naming the group and ensuring Williams would retain the song's publishing. All right, so you've got a little bit of history right there. It says the Diamonds successful cover version followed a month later the diamonds were a canadian pop group that evolved into a doo-wop group the diamonds version reached number two in sales for eight weeks on the billboard hot 100 the diamonds version is genuinely uh, generally considered superior all music critics stephen thomas Erlewine argues that the diamonds little darling it is an unusual example of a cover being better than the original i've actually seen that happen quite a few times now either in real life my actual life uh, comparing covers to originals or even in the case of the channel where we've seen a cover be stronger than the original. So yeah, it happens, man. So going on down here, you can see other recordings. You got Elvis Presley. You got the group Shanana, uh, The Four Seasons, The Monkees, Joan Baez, Classics, uh, The Rocky Fellers, The Chevrons, and Victor Woods. So a lot of covers of this, man. Little Darlin was actually a smash, man. It was a smash. A lot of people covering it, but I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat out the 1957 vibe just, just because it's such a beautiful place to be for me. So I really, really enjoy it. Well, thank you guys for tuning in today. Let's check out a little bit about the, Dar- the Diamonds before we head out. The Diamonds still going present in some capacity. Started in 1953. They're still going present, as we see with a lot of groups um from the 50s if they're still going and even early 60s is that they keep the name but the members are constantly in rotation so it it becomes more of an act of um what you could have expected from the originals but it's usually different members so i don't know how we can see who all the original members of this would be but i'd be surprised if any of those names still exist in the current member lineup i i highly doubt it says dave somerville he's no longer there uh ted no longer there phil no longer there and bill reed no longer there so you can see the four original members at least not there it says uh contrary to a popular myth the father of tom hanks was never a member of the group so i i think stuff like that's funny because we might see a comment or two saying hey did you know tom hanks dad was in the group it says right there contrary to popular myth the father of tom hanks was never a member of the group All right, so thank you guys for tuning in today. Let me know if there's more from the Diamonds that you guys would like featured on the channel. Greatly appreciate you guys for rocking today and hitting play, man. Thank you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description. Consider becoming a member on my YouTube Patreon. Really helps me out. Great deal. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.